I think the forums are awesome. Um, I don't know. I'm sure everyone else has been sort of reading and, and participating in, in those, but just like the support level that you yeah. see is really heartening. Um, but I didn't realize as team members that, that we were sort of like allowed or that you wanted us to like also put our own stuff in there. You know yeah, I mean? absolutely. No, I, I, that's like, I think that's priority is for you guys to get something out of it. Um, whether it's that or you want to write something and I, and I post that and give people to your site. Um, use it as much as you can, uh, you know. And then, of course, I think there's also something empowering about helping others and giving uh, advice and suggestions and stuff like that, you know. But uh, yeah, I think the I think the problem with the forums, uh, I think I fixed it now, was that when someone responds to your post, you have no idea unless you keep checking it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw and that. I, so now there's a little box, and I'll probably set it to default, but it'll notify you when someone re responds to your post. So hopefully that's better. Um, the whole idea behind that is like if you were out and uh, you just wanted to get some advice or something, you had a revelation, and I don't know if you were whether you're out with friends or on a date, that you could pick up your phone, type something in, and then by the time you get home, uh, you'll have you know a different perspective or some advice or encouragement. And I think you know there's some value to that. So I'm trying to get that going. Um, I know that it's still there's still a lot of people kind of hiding. You know, and yeah. I think that's going to take time. And you know, if if you get a couple hundred people, they're not. It's only a small percentage that's actually going to use that part of the website. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people join just to get emails or reminders, mm -hmm. or just to uh, you know glance at my books and stuff like that. Uh, any other thoughts? I, okay, so what I did was the uh, the the Google Doc and Asana. All that stuff. It seemed like it wasn't working. Okay. As far as us communicating, so in the forums, I created one called Team Angry, and I think we should just bring it back home, and you guys could bombard that with any ideas or notes or thoughts. So it's all within the website. I think that's awesome because I know I I was talking to I think Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hey. <laughs> um, we were talking about how just being super overwhelmed with like, I'm not a, a really like technologically savvy person so mm -hmm. to be on like Twitter and Tumblr and Reddit which I can't even yeah um, yeah I, I agree it's so I think nightmare. it's really good to have it all in the same like sort of in the same place yeah and and so click on that box where you'll be notified and so um, as we talk about ideas just put everything in there and, and don't be afraid to it's like you know you can edit that thing you could delete it you could edit it you could it's not like once you post it's over you know um, so we'll just communicate that way Okay. And then I'm creating the, the team page. So here's a question for you guys. Do you guys want that on the front of the site or do you guys want that inside so, so no one, like the public can't see who the team is? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Right now I just have Nicole and I have a couple, I think another person um, because they sent me their information. But I realized that not everyone's going to want their photo up. And Nicole, you put a photo, I think, of like um, like a dancing thing, right? Yeah. Which is totally OK. Uh, the other person sent me a photo of her face. And then she thought she thought, cause she thought it was going to be inside the website. But then I put it on the outside. But I could switch it. I thought it was kind of interesting for the public to see it. But um, it, they don't have to, you know? I don't mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm cool being on the, on the outside. I think that's kind of like. Cool to show everyone that we're, you know, what they're sort of in for. Yeah. <laughs> right, and that's yeah. what's kind of fun about cool this. Too. Yeah. I think that's yeah. cool too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll keep it on the outside, uh, and you know what, you know, it doesn't have to be a pic of your face. It could be whatever. It's just your whatever your uh, your avatar thing is. Um, what? Okay, so what I've noticed is. Uh, so what's going to happen is I think as we continue this team, there's going to be people that are really into it, have a lot of time, and there's going to be some people that just kind of come and go. Mm -hmm. And so I think you're just going to have to set your own pace as far as how much time you have to dedicate, you know. Okay. Uh, but I appreciate all of you guys and your time. And so in the last month... Um, huh? You have no time to dedicate to what, What's that? I think your echo came back for a second. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so too. Okay. Um, so the Twitter thing is really great. And I know you, uh, MC, and um, 
Right. <laughs> Marta, yeah. Marta, you guys are you guys are communicating back and forth with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to sort of um, coordinate to to make that better. And we were. Um, I just got an email from Marta a few minutes ago. Hi, Marta. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> about about meeting, but maybe we could sort of talk about it as a group because sure. I feel like. Um, I don't know. I think you had some great ideas about making it more specific and personal. But I think one of the other things is that anyone could tweet anything, you know, mm -hmm. on top of what we do that's sort of more specific or like theme based or whatever. Because um, I think we sent the um, the password and the username out to everyone, but I'm not sure that anyone's on there, and maybe they don't want to be, and that's fine. But um, right. I was just I just wanted to say that out loud. So go tweet. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I, I like it. Um, Let's go ahead, Richard. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, cool. I I don't think I got the password or the Twitter username. So if you can forward oh, I'll me put that, it, that'd I'll be put awesome. it in the forum um, later as soon as I get off here. Sweet. Okay. Thanks. Um, I I found out there's a way to there's a uh, there's something called um, Teespring.com, and it's a uh, it's a way to do a T-shirt campaign, and you could do it where it's like. Um, you don't have to sell anything. It, it's based on uh, if people they don't they don't uh, make anything until people start buying. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. But I I put that in the forums. Uh, so it's a way if you if you guys want to make uh, t-shirts or hoodies or something, um, there's no upfront fee. So we can do that, and we just have to think of something clever as far as like what's going to be on it. Um, so you guys could post your ideas and maybe we could vote on it. And I, I would think of something that sometimes people think of really clever things, but they, but they wouldn't wear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> with this, you have to think: Would you actually wear this? Uh, because even though it's it's clever or catchy, if you wouldn't wear it, then I don't think other people would either. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that um, I could do or we could do. Um, Is it for Team Angry or just for the everybody in the forum, like in the members only group? Uh, whatever you guys want it to be. I think it could be for us, the team, or it could be, uh, I don't know, something kind of, um, I like this idea of uh, us being on the same page as, as uh, using a, a word like movement or, you know, aware or a new way. Mm. And so something that um, kind of uh, makes people think, but it, it has to be kind of subtle, so it's not like obvious. Um, and, it, and, it, and it probably shouldn't smell like um, psychotherapy. And then when you go to it, you realize that it's you know it's about uh, improvement, and self help. Oh, okay, I see but what you mean. the words on it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think there's there should be something kind of like a, like I don't know like a hip factor or something different where it'll make people think. Like well, uh, I'm not saying like this is a silly idea, but one example is um, um, strainer score. And it has a score on your chest that's just a strainer score or something <laughs> like that. And people are like, what? what? But then on the back of, or on, on here, it has the URL. So when you go to it, you see that it's about dating better or about healthier relationships. It's about, you know, tools. Um, yeah, like, I see what you mean. Team Angry is kind of funny because it, it's playing on that whole thing with team. And it almost sounds like um, we're pissed off. It almost sounds like a, a group <laughs> that has, like, anger issues. And then... <laughs> And then when you go to it, you realize it's the opposite. You know, people trying to help each other people. Bringing our anger issues to the public. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, so that's some that's something that you want, and then go into forums and just post any ideas you have about that. We can we can execute that because it doesn't cost any money. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? Sweet. So I just discovered that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, hey, Richard, thank you so much for the Reddit stuff. I, I oh no problem. There. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I was just going to talk to you about that. Um, I was thinking, like, um, I don't know if you want to talk about it now or, or in private or, or how do you no, want to talk about it? No, bring it, bring it up. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I talked to a lot of the, the moderators and stuff, and I think that, like, there's – I think the best way to go about it is if we, um, like, set aside, like, maybe three hours. You know, if you can find a day where you've got three hours free mm -hmm. um, and then just – there's this thing called like a like it's basically like a thread or a or or a red what they call a Reddit, and you just start one and you basically say you know I'm the world's first publicly uh, public practice licensed family and uh, marriage therapist, um, and you know ask me anything and then people basically will ask you questions. Um, some of it will be personal, some of it will be you know 
specific okay. you know problems that they have. Right. So it'll be a lot. It'll be sort of like the ask ask me anything um, that you have on your Tumblr or your 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 uh, website, but it'll be like on steroids because it'll all happen really quickly. Okay. And then you just respond to the questions that you want to respond to, pretty much. Okay. You know, try to get as many as you can, but get the ones that, that you like. And then, like within three hours, you, that's usually how you can communicate with the maximum number of people. Um, and okay. then I was thinking, what we could do to sort of generate, you know, more buzz or excitement about it around it is to let, you know, the blogs that you've dealt with or blogs that we think that might be interested know about it, um, and then let them know and have them sort of cover that as a as a sort of like an event. So, you know, letting them know, like, for the next three hours, you know, the world, like, uh, you know, the angry therapist who's been featured here before is going to be on Reddit answering all your questions, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, if you give me the instructions, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, because uh, I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to uh, social media computers. So, uh, if you give me the instructions, I'll go there the time that you want me to and then, and then shuffle through them. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have, like, a, but is there, like, a time that you're free, like, where you can sort of, you know, you know that you'll be able to respond to some of these questions and stuff over like an afternoon or whatever. Um, yeah, I, you know what? Let's just communicate via email. It's uh, okay. I'm all over the place. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Oh no, it's my pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys have any other ideas or things that you guys want to talk about, or or uh, things that aren't working, or anything? Even if you're new, like B. Um, I had like a kind of a silly analog promotional idea. Mm. And um, unfortunately, oh, I mean, I guess it's not unfortunate because people are already on top of your social media, right? Like you have the Twitter and you have Reddit as an option. You're already on Tumblr. You have your forums. Um, however, I don't know. Like I'm not very good at marketing stuff, but um, I can make zines really cheap, like just photocopy and text and blah, 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 which are like little pamphlets. I don't know if you've ever seen a zine before. No, what's a zine? Um, here, I will show you um, the Wikipedia link for it. <laughs> here is anyone who's interested. Um, so it's kind of like a cheaply made magazine. And um, I have a printer at home, and I have all this paper I have left over from art school. <laughs> oh, wow. So um, I don't have a problem with putting something together that's like a pamphlet. And um, if you guys ever want to see like an example of one, mm -hmm. I can send it via, uh, or I can post it on the forum, and you guys can give me any ideas of like what kind of stuff we could put in it. And and um, this is something that you can just leave places like record stores, coffee shops. Right. So that's something more analog and completely cheap to produce. Yeah, let's um, do it. Um, can you can you email me and let's do something like that? But really, we'll, yeah. we could, uh, since you live in LA, we'll, it'll be creative, and then I'll yeah. pay for. I'll pay for paper or whatever ink and stuff that you I need. I mean, we might not even have to, but yeah, sure, no problem. Um, I have some pink paper, which I don't know if you're going to like. So. <laughs> um, very angry, but... Um. Yeah, but, uh, I, but, you know, I, uh, I, hop, I hop around in coffee shops a lot in L.A., and so uh, when it comes to things like that and stickers and stuff, they're always, it's like, uh, it's almost like guerrilla marketing. It's really, uh, yeah. I think they're effective. Yeah, and it's, it, I mean, I think it really goes with your... Um, identity kind of like the fact that you're really into the gorilla stuff with Fight Club and all of that I think it would go really well it's so like a nice do you also design too? I mean, are you yeah I'm um, I just quit my job I used to be a graphic designer uh, for a fashion retail company but oh, wow. <laughs> I was kind of up to here with that but I would much rather work on something I'm interested in so this would be great for me cool let's do it yeah I always I, I kind of feel like it's gonna look um, and, and I don't know but like just raw and crazy, like a, yeah. a, a record cover? Uh, you can sell them. I mean, you can leave them at record companies, but yeah, oh. it can definitely look raw and crazy and handmade and like like photocopied. And, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah or no, that's if you awesome. want, that's it can exciting. be super clean, too. It's really, I mean, right. whatever message we need to get across, we can do that. Okay, so um, email me and then we'll work on that. Sure. Okay, cool. cool. So uh, two questions then. Um, I know we mentioned last time something about maybe doing like kind of like inspirational typography stuff for Pinterest. Mm -hmm. um, I know we all sort of kind of forgot about that, but um, if you're a graphic designer, I think it'd be really cool if you have time. I don't know. Yeah, if take yeah. It on. I have nothing but time. Sure. <laughs> I, cool. Rather than I'm like all of us. So just bring it. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'll update you on that then. Maybe we That's can talk okay. about it a little bit more. But okay. Cool. Who's, think that'd be who's cool. running? Who's running Pinterest? I forgot. I'm working on it, but I don't know who's like running it. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Um, is that is that like grinding teeth for you, or are you okay with it? No, I'm totally cool with it. It's super quick. Uh, it's digital. You don't have to okay. print anything. It's totally fine. Um, Nicole, is, is you doing Pinterest? Is that okay? I don't want you guys to. I don't want to force you guys to do anything uh, from pressure. I want you to actually have fun with it. You know. Yeah. yeah, I like the Pinterest. I did a lot of the date night um, yeah. pictures. I need to do like some of the more current ones, but I think somebody was going in and adding <laughs> pictures for like um, words of wisdom and different stuff like that, and I can do that too. I just don't know who else is doing it. I don't mind doing all of it. I really don't. It's better than Reddit. Reddit was giving me a headache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for helping me out with that, by the way, Nicole. I, I know, tried. Um, <laughs> no, it was great. <laughs> It's too confusing, but yeah, I love like Pinterest. I was thinking about maybe starting an Instagram, but I don't know how you feel about that. Whatever you guys want, I mean, you you can create whatever you want. Um, I don't, I, I personally don't. I'm not good at taking pictures, but if that's you know, I, like I'm not gonna fight anything that you guys want to do. Okay. I I'm I'm always about out of the box. I'm always about if we're gonna do something, let's do it differently. So my job is to uh, not only facilitate but challenge you guys. And I want, like, the nectar for me is for you guys to create things that you guys um, are excited about and you guys love the fact that you created it. And then yeah. we can use my platform to, to display or to, you know, whatever. It's not so much, like, I'm never going to be someone that gives you guys instructions. I don't want to be that guy, you know? Okay. I don't feel like I have a right to. That's not, this is, like, collaborative. Yeah, and, I mean, if you're not micromanaging, that's even more awesome. So. Yeah. No, this is about that. And, and, and it, right. it's never going to be. Um, I, I think the nectar in this is is us like you guys are just starting to get to know each other. Like I noticed, you know, like Nicole and MC and, and Marta and, and Richard like <laughs> just through just through working and, and, and passing emails back and forth. And I think there's something really cool about that because you guys are from different cities and you know, like we're we're only connected because of this space. Totally. So when when you're going through something, like MC, if you're going through something, or if you're going through a breakup, you're going through something, now you have three or four people that know you and that have your back and they're going to give you advice and we're going to do it together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. Nicole and I are BFF. We are. <laughs> so it's that combination of, like, let's do some work, let's be creative, and then also let's talk about life. I had a shitty day. How was your You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of yeah. stuff. And I think that's, like, that's the goal for me, uh, if you want to call this an experiment, to get, um, I think there's power in that as far as like the power and community. Um, of course, like I want to get more members and stuff, but now I'm focusing more on taking the people in there and just going, uh, try to get deeper. Good idea. What do you guys think of the emails I'm sending out, uh, the members only emails? Are those, is, are those, is that too much? I'm trying to do it daily, like daily medicine, or is that, should I? Just, just... I I think that's up to you because I know you had sent something out saying that or you wrote a blog or something I can't remember where I saw that like you were trying to make sure that you did this daily and I think it's a good idea but if you wanted to take it down to weekly I think that would be good too because I feel like maybe it would be something that's overwhelming to like oh, for me yeah yeah, um, yeah but I, I you know I, I enjoy it okay um, I, I like thing? MC I love what you were doing what do you guys think about like M so MC once a week or once every other week She's taking um, some words that she finds in the forums that are inspiring or, or um, like little tidbits, and then she'll send them to me, and then I'll, I'll email them and, and put it back on you guys. Yeah, I like that. I think yeah. that's cool. Uh, I wanted to point out one of the weird things I noticed is sometimes the members' emails are the same as I think the, the general emails. I don't oh, know. I'm trying, to keep them, I'm trying to keep them separate, but. Uh, Okay. Oh, there might be like a post that's the same, or you, you mean that? Yeah, you saw like I'm getting the same email twice, or kind of getting the same from like, um, yeah, like a, a member's email has the same content as like a general email. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The um, the only general email. Oh, you're talking about the newsletter. Yeah. Oh, there isn't one. That's what we have to talk about. Uh, we don't have anyone working on a um, a newsletter like that comes out once a month, and I don't know what that would look like, but I also wanted to do something kind of different. Oh, okay, cool. I would love to work on that. I think <clears throat> um, having like little, I don't know, were you thinking that people would, like members would write things or that we would compile I, I don't know. Whatever, what do you guys think? What, what's, like generally a newsletter is, what is it, like it's, it's one month of what recapping and what's going on in the, um, like on the website or our business. Um, yeah, I don't know. We could, we could use it to uh, uh, showcase stories. 
things. We could use it to, uh, if people are writing articles, we could use it to, uh, you know, whatever you guys want to yeah. do. It's going to shoot out to like a thousand people, so whatever you guys want to do. I'll work on that with you, Mary Catherine. MC, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can call me right now. It's just usually people prefer MC. I think you can I collaborate with you too. Cool, sweet. Yay, teamwork. Thank okay, you. I'll start. Awesome. I'm in too, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay, Marta. Yeah, like, yeah me like too. Well. We can tweet them too. <laughs> we will tweet the hell out of those newsletters. We will. <laughs> I, I feel like, I have a feeling like um, this will be kind of the core. And then people will come and go, but there's, I think, I have a feeling there's always going to be kind of a core with Team Angel. Um, and then when life happens, you know, people could, you know, come and go. But uh, as far as in the beginning, uh, getting the snowball going. Yeah, I think it'd be, I think the, 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 the newsletter could be really cool. Um, I kind of see, like, different ways that it could be done. Because I get, like, there, I get, like, weekly newsletters and, and, like, monthly newsletters, too. And it's just from different people. And they sort of have, like, a thing, um, and I think it'd be it would be really cool if we sort of set ours up in a similar way, whether it's like recommended reading and then also like stuff that's been in the form and, and then the additional materials or whatever. It'd be really yeah. The recommended reading is awesome, but how would we get the uh, recommendations? Just through members um, of the thread? Yeah, I think from members and like maybe maybe new additions to the resources section of the forum. Um, right. And also, just you know, what you're reading, like whether yeah. you're reading anything interesting or whatever. Um, <clears throat> should I rename that recommended readings instead of just the theme, like every month? Well, I'm thinking like maybe that's like a that's like a section of it. I'm not sure, you yeah. know, if you want to. Yeah, yeah right, like right, maybe right. it'll have like a a few books and then maybe like a few right. articles or something. But then right. also a lot of the stuff that's happening in the forum too. So. Yeah, I love that. I think that's great. Um, and I would love, you know, there's a lot of, like, even in this room, there's a lot of talented writers. And uh, MC, I know that you wrote something, and it got a really great response, and, and uh, people loved it and found that it was helpful. And uh, that kind of stuff goes a long way, you know, whether it's advice or sharing a story or this is something. And uh, stuff like that in the newsletter is really valuable, too. You know, I was just thinking um, what could be really cool for, like, the zine thing if they're being left in coffee shops like two possible ones is like one is like how to save your shitty date if you're like having a shitty date and it's on the counter you can pick it up and it'd just be like five pages maybe and then oh, the God, other the, one the, the whole thing oh. with, with the shot. yeah I like that yeah, yeah. Um, and then the other one maybe is like so you just got dumped now what and it's also yeah. like no I love that okay so um, so we'll work on that did you say how to save a shitty date or a, a shitty date that says, guys, shitty date what Dates or day? <laughs> Either works, actually. Now I think about it. I, I um, love the shitty day I idea because, yeah. like, I like that too. <laughs> we all have shitty days. But I like that. I feel like imagine being on a date and someone like picks up this thing from the table and they're like, "Hang on a sec." Yeah, like, you're on, you're on your awkward coffee shop date, and yeah. there's your answer right there on the shelf next to you. <laughs> yeah, Richard, those are great ideas, and we'll play yeah. with stuff like that. Sure. Oh, one thing I um I know that oh sorry Nicole go ahead no no yeah you're fine um this is just kind of a random idea but another sort of thing that we could do in terms of dating and like helping people I know that you that you um were on OK Cupid for a little while and I have some friends that are on OK Cupid and mm -hmm. doing the whole like online dating thing and maybe maybe a forum or a newsletter or something that's like dedicated to like the particular hells and perils of online dating because yeah, I think it's a, I actually, um, it's a different it's thing. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble with this. I've just been, I've been really busy but I'm working on a book and, and part of the book is tips about uh, that whole world and how to go into it and what's the mindset and you know uh, don't just put all your Instagram photos because when you actually <laughs> meet the person they're really, really pleasantly surprised and you know the, the whole angle and when to use it and not to you not to uh, go in with expectation because it, you know it's a meat market. So yeah, I think that that also would be a really good um, uh, little pamphlet thing like B, like what you're talking with for your stuff, the E sign. What is it called? E sign. Just a Z. Z. Oh, Z. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, like bullet points and and tips and stuff like that. Yeah, and was, if you uh, want, we can we can make like digital versions of them too, which will be on your. Um, on on your site for people to also come to and view online. 
Oh, like a little category. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. And then any, if people want to like print them out and leave them places, that way we'll have that all, already like published, and they can just take it to their coffee shops all across the United States or Canada yeah. or wherever. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Canada. Shoot them into the uh, the email or the you know. Yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say about the? I I might I was talking. Have you guys heard of How About We that dating site? About who? How it's called, <laughs> How About We, and it's based on uh, you pick an activity, and then you find your, your, the person that is interested in the activity. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. I they were gonna, that's really cool. They were gonna. I mean, it's it's a different angle, and they were gonna hire me to write stuff for them, but uh, oh, it cool. didn't work out. But um, yeah, I've, I've I have a couple things that I'm working on that I could possibly maybe um, if I'm writing things for them that we could funnel some, you know, get some traffic that way.